move into new business and we have a discussion on the uh with the Jones County Public Library on the general obligation bond and approval resolution. Good evening. Hi, I'm Bev Martin, director of the Johnson County Public Library, and with me tonight, uh, Brian J. Decky, who is the um, board attorney, Ryan Fetters, who works with Inbound Associates, who's been advising us on um, how to move through the bond process, and thought that you might have some questions about markets or those types of things, which I don't feel too comfortable answering tonight. Um, I, knew, I assume that you also got my memo with the article and um, the um, advisory council um, program that we had. It's in, been in place, um, <coughs> that group met five years ago. Um, no, actually, they did the report in 204, so they met kind of in 203, 204. And I know we've talked about it before, even mentioned it when I was here to discuss the library capital projects plan. But I thought some of you might like to see that, see some of the people to show you that it was across the county. It wasn't just a Franklin um, process. So why are we here t this evening? And I think if you noticed in those recommendations from that group, one of the recommendations was after careful consideration and study, they recommended that the current site at which the Franklin Library is, uh, Franklin Blanche is located, is inadequate for um, expansion at that location. Um, the, we looked, we had two sets of architects actually come in over a period of time there, and um, both of them's final recommendation was tear the current building down and start over if you want to stay at that site to be able to meet some of the, the needs assessed at this point in time and also uh, the parking requirements that are required for a public building. Um, at that time, the board set in place a site selection committee. We were looking at eight to ten different locations around the Franklin area, uh, many of which had its own uniqueness to it. Um, almost all of them had some drawback. Um, we looked at downtown and realized that the major drawback there was parking. Um, I said, you know, everyone thinks back a year and we were we were dealing with floods and, and all the ramifications of that. And since that time, we've been meeting with county officials. Charlie's been trying to attend some of our meetings, um, um, people from the city. We've all been talking, you know, how can we kind of solve some of these problems together? And one of the ideas that came up was the feasibility of building a downtown branch to establish itself as an anchor, an economic development anchor. Uh, make use of some of the monies that are available for replacement, uh, both through TIF monies and through some of the, potentially when we're talking partnering with city and county, even some of the monies that might be coming back to those entities. Uh, those discussions are ongoing. Um, certainly, I think when we appeared before you the first time and talked about the idea of a uh, possible joint use between courts and library, that probably wasn't the best idea, but at least we had the discussion, we looked at some alternatives. We are still looking at some of the county services that might blend well with, with a library. Uh, and that's really why we're here tonight, is just to ask for approval for a $2 million bond that will um, help us in that planning process. I um, A couple of things that um, want to set the record clear for you. And um, I should have put these in the packet, and I apologize. I didn't get that accomplished. This is a, um, a chart that I think we talked about. And I'm sorry, Beth, here's multiple copies of that. Um, that um, it, it's been repeated a number of times in the press, despite the fact that both publicly and privately we've tried to correct this misnomer about the cost of the project. So what I have for you here is a document that Ryan prepared to show you simply what the library's overall, overall bonding capacity is. That's where the number 28 million keeps coming from. We have no intention of that being the project size, but we don't know, as we've said, um, what the project size is yet because we need to do a needs assessment. We need to review what we call a program for the, the building, and that is where you just assess by standards, state standards of how many computers you're supposed to offer for so many populations served, how much shelving it takes to put a certain number of books. Those standards are also set by the state. You know, what is staff sizing? Um, 
if you were able to come on a Tuesday morning, you would see there's at the Franklin Library, there is no standing room hardly for the number of people that are there for programming, the people that are there for homeschooling activities. Uh, we've simply outgrown that space. I, I sat here and reflected um, the discussion earlier and realized that, you know, some I wasn't here that long, but I think BJ was to know that at the time when we were building that library before, it was also at a time of a jail expansion or a jail, building a jail. Um, you know, I happen to believe that what we're talking about here is something that affects everyone. I kind of share with my staff, it's a womb to tomb kind of service that we offer at the library. And we certainly hit all walks of life. We hit all kinds of people that are on hard times, people that are um, looking at ways just to save money so that their family can go out and have a good activity and it doesn't cost a lot of money. We had 6,000 participants in summer reading this summer, and most of those were families that came for an activity at the library that didn't cost them a lot of money and um, you know, got a little prize that, that our friends helped donate. So we're here asking for your approval. Uh, BJ will explain to you, uh, <laughs> if you want the explanation, of why at this time we are going both before the City of Franklin and County Council. That happens to do with a quirk in the um, changes that were made in the law. Um, and it ended up being in the special <coughs> session, actually. And that was language that said, if you were, you want to explain you're, that? <laughs> you're doing fine. Uh, essentially, uh, and uh, give you a copy of the statute if you want. For issuing bonds, uh, we are supposed to come before the authority that approves our budget. And the interesting question is, uh, if, our, if, if a library's boundaries are outside of a city itself, uh, one of the issues is who created the library? And if you had asked me two weeks ago, I would have said Franklin created the library. Uh, we have some information that the county commissioners created the Franklin Library, um, contrary to what I would have thought. Uh, and because of our own uncertainty about whether the library was created by the city of Franklin or by Johnson County, uh, we filed uh, or presented this petition to both bodies. Uh, the last thing we wanted to do was, uh, assuming we presented it to only one body and it said yes, and we get halfway down the road in issuing bonds and somebody says, stop, you went to the wrong body. Mm -hmm. uh, which is why we came both here and to um, City of Franklin. We had our first hearing last week and have every reason to believe that they will approve it at their second meeting. They. Um, it's just their policy to, to take <coughs> two meetings to, a pop, to approve a resolution or an ordinance. So we're going back before them on the 17th, actually, next Monday. So um, I um, had this conversation with a couple of you that, yes, it doesn't make any sense that just because we were created by a city that that city would be approving our budgets or our bonding ability, but that appears to be the way the law is written. We are trying to get that clarified because uh, personally I think you know, when we're looking at a county situation where everyone in the county is going to have an input on this decision and, and final outcome of the project, um, it should be this body that's giving the final approval. But this evening we're here asking your approval. Um, I have, because we, we've talked about this on a number of occasions, uh, Ryan also prepared for us a, a chart that shows over the last 10 years, excuse me, I guess I'm getting some feedback here, on just um, what our, <laughs> she passes well. From now on you pass the name. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, 